I know that they have told the world that they was not in my life in 2007 and 2006 and that they just came in my life in 2017, which is a severe extreme lie. In 2007, they were in my life from beginning to end. In 2006, they were in my life from beginning to end. And New Year's when I went to church, they were in my, in my life in both my ears, attached to my brain and body, suffering and torturing and tormenting me. I still to this day do not know any men. I do not have men in my phone calling men, having sex with different multiple men or having threesomes. I got pregnant in 2007 <laughs> through me finding out me being pregnant to me delivering my baby in 2008. They were in both my ears, my brain, my body, suffering me as I'm taking a shower, suffering me as I'm pregnant. They did not just all of a sudden pop into my life. And I did not all of a sudden just start acting like I don't know any men or have any men or calling any men. They are severely, extremely lying on me nonstop. And they are not playing my everyday life. They are not playing what I do throughout the day onto the next day, throughout that whole month and the whole entire year. They are severely, extremely making and controlling false tapes of me through their technology that they have. They do not just have some measly listening device, some measly little camera. It is a severe event and it is severely advanced. They are acting like they are discovering it or they're trying it out or they just going to bring it out on this certain year. It is attached to my brain and my body and it controls my brain, my body, just as I would naturally do myself. They with their own thoughts, with their own voices. And I cannot wait to visualize what I am talking about. You have to be actually connected to it to know what I am talking about. It is their own voice, their own emotions, their own bodies, their own brains that they have connected to my body. And you hear their own voice. You hear them loud and clear. Just as I'm making this recording, it's not a voice that you have to try to figure out or describe. It is nonstop. And nonstop means nonstop. It continuously is in my ears. If I'm in my car, if I'm at work, if I'm in a plane, touching my body, my brain, sexually raping my vagina, blowing up my skin, making me feel the implants in my brain, my body, then move them right to left, up and down, sideways, front and back. It doesn't matter. They are on my body nonstop, in both my eyes nonstop. They are blowing and stretching up my face to what it looks like at this very second, to this oval shape. My skin is so severely heavy. I have to find some... <coughs> And something as heavy as my face because they are stretching it and mashing my skin down in my face. It is severely, extremely heavy. My face is not this natural shape face. They're taking my nose, crushing my nose down, strangling my nose down to where it looks like a point, flaring my nose out. My face is severely in this round, oval-shaped face. It is not my face. It is so heavy. There are implants inside of my cheekbones. Inside, They're inside the veins in my face, pumping my face like this, pumping my fingers, my hands, my legs, my stomach, like this, literally pumping it with the implants, rejecting his mouth, sticking them out onto my skin, strangling my lips into a small, tight, shaped lips. I am not this disgusting, nasty, threesome whore like you are playing. As I am celibate right now, and I even question her. So when you did come into my life, because you are saying that you was never in my life before 2007, before 2008, 
I questioned her and asked her, was I not brushing my teeth morning, noon, and morning and night and some afternoons taking showers in the morning and at night and before I left and went somewhere cleaning up concessively, not knowing any men just as I do right now? And I question her about that because you're saying all before then you was not in my life. And it's more than obvious that you were in my life before 2017 because all these recordings I made in 2013, I made recordings on <coughs> on a Facebook, on YouTube, <coughs> on YouTube in 2015, there's still recordings on there. In 2014, there's still recordings on there. This is why you put my children in foster care. And I thought that I was getting my children back, but you're telling me that you set up children that look like my children and put them in my care. That you've done something so horrible and so disgusting and still to this very second is doing it to my children. over which you may this world believe in. Regardless, I do not care. You are so disgusting. And these people are natural born child molesters because it would not matter of what was before them. They would never. If you are not a child molester, if you hate everything that you are watching and playing, you do not turn around and do the same very thing that you hate and claim to <clears throat> to be suffering and torturing and beating and brutalizing me and holding me captive and protecting the world from me, doing it to children, to my children. You could not put your brain and your mind and your thoughts to do this to my, to my children, <clears throat> let alone sitting back and watching, oh, I just can't handle it. It's happening to another child in thoughts, in disgusting ways. It's being projected on another child, but you can turn around and do the same very thing to my children because that's who you're claiming you're doing it to. But it's not, like I said, I'm not in court. I'm not before a jury, so I don't say every last single thing because it is too much to leave on a recording about how you really are sexually molesting other children, placing them with their families. And this is something not new, just because I have not made a recording about it. Really imagining me in sex scenes in movies and re recreating the movie. Imagining me with men and saying that I, I like them and I'm thinking of them and would have said and then start creating all kind of false stories that I am not leaving on these recordings. It is too much throughout the day. <coughs> <coughs> Like I said, you are in my life non-stop, non-stop in both my ears, making up false recordings, making false videos. It does not stop, not stop. It carries on through the whole day, through the next night, through the next day, throughout the next day, through this whole entire month, onto the next month, onto the next month. It does not stop. You did not just all of a sudden pop into my life. And I knew men, I have, just as I am now, is how I was since you are claiming to just pop into my life. And you know I was exactly this way, not knowing any men, not having sex, not going to clubs, not having threesomes, not eating children, not picking up food as you claim and imagining them being children's body parts. You are severely, extremely lying on me.